Look how many emails there are just today. That's like, that's 50 emails nearly just today with the word unsubscribe. Isn't that insane? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a filter and we're gonna have all these emails skip our inbox. Because if it's got the word unsubscribe, it's probably automated, spam, newsletter, or for whatever the reason, not written by a human personally to you. Productivity. I wanna show you something cool inside your Gmail that's gonna save you hopefully half an hour a day of email waiting. I've just completely delegated mine. I've given up. Mine now just goes to my assistant. If you are responsible for your own email and you don't have a system to manage yours, we've got a pretty phenomenal course for managing email. It's a free course. You just need to switch your billing to us. And so if you're interested in that course or you're just interested in learning more about Gmail, it's called Inbox Domination, I think we called it. But it's basically helping you master your inbox and getting you to inbox zero every single day of the week. One of the most important tips in that system I'm going to share with you right now because this is like the 80-20. It's the big time saver. And you'll see here, like in my mail, I'll go to my all mail folder. This is 15 years of email. There's nearly 600,000. It's a bit hard to see that. Nearly 600,000 emails are sitting in my mailbox because I never deleted anything in 15 years, which is pretty crazy, right? They're not all in the inbox. That's just the total mailbox size. But in my actual inbox, you'll see every day you get a bunch of different emails coming through from different people, right? And some of these are automated. Some of them are spam. Some of them are newsletters. And a lot of them are pretty darn annoying. Now, Google gave us automatic categories, which is pretty good at filtering some of it from the inbox, but I've got like one blanket filter to rule them all. So what we're going to do is in our search box up the top, we're going to search for the word unsubscribe in the search box up the top, right? And what this is going to do is it's going to find every email hitting our inbox with the word unsubscribe included. Now, look how many emails there are just today. That's like, that's 50 emails nearly just today with the word unsubscribe. Isn't that insane? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a filter and we're gonna have all these emails skip our inbox. Because if it's got the word unsubscribe, it's probably automated, spam, newsletter, or for whatever the reason, not written by a human personally to you. So we're gonna just skip all these from the inbox. We're gonna create a rule or a filter. And to do that, you click the button up the top here, show search options, you're gonna click that button. And we're gonna say anything that includes the word unsubscribe, we've already got that there. Now, if you wanna keep some of them in your inbox, like maybe, I don't know, my Asana notifications, I would say, and it doesn't have the word Asana in there, right? And that'll leave all my Asana notifications in, it won't catch them. And we're gonna click create filter down the bottom there. So create filter is the button down here next to search, create filter. And there's three things we're gonna tick. Number one is skip the inbox. That one should be obvious. Number two, we're gonna apply a label. Very important because we don't want to just skip these all together. We want to check it every now and again because every now and again, you'll get an email from someone and it's like, hey, you need to update your credit card or your MailChimp is going to stop working, right? We want to check this every now and again. So we're going to create a filter and you can just call it like filtered or skip the inbox or newsletters or junk or whatever. And then the third one we're going to tick is this one down the bottom, apply filter to matching conversations. Now, when I first did this on a large inbox, my Gmail crashed just takes a while to like update it in the background. So if your Gmail crashes, don't freak out, but you apply that filter and then it basically will go through all your history, yank all of that out of your inbox and it will drop all of that into that nice new label called filtered. Really, really like that one. I've been teaching that for many years and that is how you can filter our emails if you really want to as well. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius, or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.